we have two wars going on. Some of them were too, wounded too badly to go back and serve the whole four years. The Pentagon actually tried to get their signing bonus back. But thanks to a bill that Hillary co-sponsored, the soldiers keep their signing bonus. So she has, and she secondly, she's got a good plan to do these things and preserve our national security. So I believe that we will not be able to prevail in this election against Senator McCain unless we have somebody who's credible on both economic and national security issues. The second thing I want to say is you've got some evidence here. First, look at New York. Most people think of New York as a big democratic state. And it is because of New York City, Buffalo, and some of our big suburban counties. But the vast land mass of New York is a lot more like Indiana than you think. It is rural, agricultural, and usually Republican. In 2004, while Senator Kerry defeated President Bush in New York, President Bush defeated Senator Kerry in 40 of New York's 62 counties. You didn't know that, did you? You may not have known there are real farmers in New York, but there are a whole lot. Third biggest source of income in New York, agriculture. Hillary got 60% of the vote in those 40 Bush counties when she ran for re-election because they like her and they trust her and because of what she did for rural economic development. In Arkansas, where I was the governor for 12 years, but where Hillary has not lived for 15 years, Arkansas has voted for Democrats for president exactly three times in 44 years. Once for President Carter, and then the second time they voted for President Reagan. And twice for me, I was their governor. Three days ago, there was a poll which came out in Arkansas which gave Hillary 70% of the vote in the Democratic primary. In that poll, Senator McCain was leading Senator Obama by 16 points and trailing Hillary by 15 points. She can win this election. She will win Florida. She just won a great victory in Ohio. The governor of Ohio and John Glenn both endorsed her saying they're doing it because she'd be the best president and she's the best person to win that state in November. We've got to win. She can win. She can win because she's good on the economy, good on national security, and she has proved over and over again she can attract Republican votes. The more people know her, the more they like her. That's another reason to be for her. But let's talk